Hello, I'm Dr. Peter McGuire, head of the Metabolism, Infection, and Immunity section at the National Human Genome Research Institute of the National Institutes of Health. I'm a physician scientist who leads a clinical study called the NIH mini-study, which aims to understand why children with mitochondrial disease may deteriorate during infection. Mitochondria are small factories in our cells which produce energy. As such, children with mitochondrial disease have an impaired ability to produce energy, which may lead to multi-systemic problems and reduced lifespan. The COVID-19 pandemic poses a significant threat to this community. When children with mitochondrial disease get sick with any virus, their bodies may not be able to produce enough energy to help fight the infection. As a result, these infections may lead to exacerbation of their disease or even become life-threatening. The COVID-19 vaccines are an important part of keeping children with mitochondrial disease healthy. Although the COVID-19 vaccines have yet to be evaluated in children, we are encouraged by their safety and efficacy data. Until a vaccine is available for children, caregivers and family members should be vaccinated to provide protection to children with mitochondrial disease. Studies by my group indicate that family networks can be extensive, as many family members are essential workers, placing the child with mitochondrial disease at risk. In the figure seen here, a child with mitochondrial disease is pictured in blue. Black lines indicate social contact between individuals, forming a network with and around the child. The individual indicated in orange has COVID-19. Since childhood vaccination is not available yet, vaccination of individuals around the child, known as ring vaccination and indicated in green, can offer protection until vaccination is available. This ring involves family members and other caregivers, as well as medical providers. As a physician, my goal is to keep my patients healthy and minimize the deleterious effects of infection. Vaccination is an important way to offer protection to these vulnerable children. Please visit our website, www.genome.gov forward slash mini, for more information about our studies, including our current remote participation study on viral exposure in children with mitochondrial disease and their caregivers during the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you.